Hello everyone, today we're going to be discussing something that I've wanted to talk about for a long time and that is 5 inch props versus 6 inch props. Many of you may know that I'm a big fan of 6 inch props so this is going to be kind of you know my opinion on how 5 inch feels in comparison to 6 inch and I'll also go over why I think 6 inch is better than 5 inch. So I'm going to try to keep it kind of objective but I'm also going to be throwing in my opinions uh, on why I think you know these objective differences make me like 6 inch personally better than 5 inch. So first I want to just go through um, all my mini quads I've been through so you guys can kind of see how my setup has changed throughout the years. So I started off with uh, the first version of the Immersion RC Vortex on 3 cell 5 inch and I flew 6 inch props for about a week on that and I broke them all so then I just went back to 5 inch and then I built a 5 inch Alien and ran 4S on it and that was kind of a big power gain for me um, and then about 6 months later I built a 6 inch Alien uh, also on 4S because I wanted to see how 6 inch flew and I really liked how that flew so 6 months later when I built my first generation of my tube quad um, I built that in 6 inch and I've been refining that design for the past year and it has stayed 6 inch the whole time. So you can kind of see that I transitioned from 5 inch to 6 inch pretty much in my progression. So maybe once we go through all of these different characteristics of 5 inch versus 6 inch you guys will understand why that happened. So let's start out with grip. This is a pretty easy one. 6 inch wins because um, it has larger props so they can grab more air going through corners pulling out of dives so when you're going around a corner you need to add less throttle than you would with five inch and you know pulling out a dive same thing so what i experienced with five inch is you're trying to go around a corner you have to add a lot of throttle and it makes it feel like the quad is trying really hard to stay in the air and i just don't really like how that feels compared to six inch it feels like it's not even trying so another interesting thing I've noticed between 5 inch and 6 inch is people who uh, run 5 inch run pretty much exclusively tri-blades with a few exceptions. Back in the day we all ran 5 inch bi-blades and then eventually uh, it kind of transitioned to tri-blades because people wanted more grip uh, which kind of sacrificed some speed but it was a trade-off that people were willing to make. And Thinking about it now, this doesn't really make sense to me because if you want more grip, it makes more sense to go to a bigger prop that's more efficient and keeping the number of blades down, which is more efficient, compared to just adding blades to a smaller prop size. Going from by blades to tri blades, you lose efficiency and you gain grip, but if you just make a bigger blade, you gain efficiency and gain grip. So you're just losing out on efficiency there going from bi-blades to tri-blades instead of just going to a bigger prop size. Now let's talk about speed. So 6 inch as far as cruising goes definitely wins at the same angle. Uh, 6 inch for sure goes faster than 5 inch. And I'm not sure why this is but if you think about it it kind of makes sense. So if you compare like a 4 or 5 inch mini quad and the amount of tilt you gotta put on to go like 70 miles an hour um, that tilt is way more than, say, a full-size helicopter, what that needs to go uh, 150 miles an hour, and those blades are gigantic. So it just makes sense to me that larger blades are going to cruise faster at a given level of tilt. Now, as far as top speed goes, I think it's really a wash depending on your setup. I don't really think 6-inch is slower. A lot of people seem to think that 5-inch has a higher top speed. And honestly, I think this is kind of an illusion because since 6 inch has all that grip, it accelerates really hard. So it reaches its top speed a lot faster than 5 inch. Whereas 5 inch, um, you give it full beans and it takes a little bit longer to reach its top speed. So that actually might make it feel like it's going faster because it takes longer to get to that high speed. So that might kind of be a little illusion going on, but I think it really depends on the setup. I will say... Uh, I really don't like tri-blades on 6 inch because they always just seem to slow down the quad too much and they add grip 
but six inch doesn't need more grip, at least with the setups I'm running that aren't super heavy or anything. So now let's talk about control feel. So a lot of people say, you know, five inch has much better control feel. And I kind of agree with this, but I think there's more nuance to it than people think. So five inch for sure is snappier than six inch. Those blades are smaller. The motors can spin them up and down a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. So for those quick, you know, rolls and flips and whatever, uh, five inch for sure is snappier. However, um, people say that six inch feels like a bigger quad. And I think I figured out why, um, because six inch isn't that much bigger. It's only two inches wider than five inch if uh, the distance between the props is the same. So what I really think uh, contributes to this is because six inch picks up speed a lot faster. So like I said before, at the same you know given level of tilt, uh, six inch is gonna cruise faster. So when you're tilting or rolling or whatever on your six inch quad, it really starts moving a lot compared to five inch where you tilt, you can tilt a lot and it doesn't move as drastically. And on five inch, that means that you can be more reckless with your stick movements uh, when you're in tight spaces and whatnot. So it actually makes it easier to control for some people because they can be a little more reckless and it actually basically gives you more resolution with your stick, uh, even though you are banking a lot. Compared to six inch, you just have to be a lot more careful because uh, whichever direction you point it, it's gonna start going that direction pretty fast. And I think that's what makes six inch feel bigger than five inch, even though it's not that much bigger. Because I don't really think that most people out there um, are hitting gaps so small that if it was two inches narrower, their quad would not fit. So let's talk about efficiency. And this is a big selling point of six inch for me because um, on my five inch Alien, I would get about 245 to three minutes flight time of freestyle flying. On my six inch tube quad with a heavier camera, which makes the you know relative weights pretty even because the five inch is heavier. So at the same weight, I get around three minutes 30 to four minutes flight time. And honestly, I'm probably covering more distance with the quad because it just flies so much faster uh, just as far as cruising goes. So six inch is definitely more efficient and that makes a lot of sense to me because there is a bigger you know, disc area or you could think of it as wing loading on the propellers, the wing loading is less. So um, that tends to give more efficient thrust and it's just a known fact that bigger props are more efficient. And just cruising around with my six inch tube quad with the heavy camera, I can get uh, usually you know, five minutes 30 to six minutes 30 of just cruising around with no freestyle, uh, which I think is pretty respectable. And on my OSD, it usually reads between 11 and 14 amps um, doing that kind of flying. So that's, like I said, a big selling point for me for six inch is that it's so much more efficient than five inch. So you can spend more time flying and less time charging batteries. So let's talk about power. Once again, this kind of depends on your setup, but I think the way the power is delivered is really an important distinction in how five inch versus six inch feels. So five inch, the power really comes on higher in the throttle. You know, it's all personal preference, what you like, but I will say that probably does contribute to the better control feel as well, because in like the lower half of the throttle, it's not so sensitive. Uh, you don't like end up in a tree if you goose it too hard usually. Whereas with six inch, most of the power is in the lower half of the throttle, which I personally like because it makes the quad feel like it's not really trying very much, but you do have to be a lot more careful with the throttle because there's just so much acceleration and grunt you can get with that low half of the throttle that, you know, in tight spaces and stuff, it can make it difficult to fly around. I personally like it, but it's definitely not for everyone. In terms of maximum power, like I said, the six inch for sure accelerates harder and you know, that's why it just goes around those corners better and pulls out of dives better. You know, as far as punching at high speeds, they're probably like equal between five inch and six inch. So 
it's really just the way the power is delivered. The five inch is just, you really gotta give it a lot of throttle input on the sticks, whereas six inch, it's kind of all low down and you don't have to give it a lot of throttle. That's why I really like six inch as well is because it really just doesn't feel like it's trying too hard. Another thing about six inch is it's much easier to carry weight. So I keep talking about how I have the heavy camera on it and I really like six inch because I can carry that heavy camera and it doesn't impede the flight performance so much that it just feels dead. You can feel the extra weight, but you can fly just fine with the heavy camera that I'm using. Whereas on five inch, I feel like it's more sensitive to weight because those smaller props have to work extra hard because they have way less lifting area than the six inch props. So adding the same amount of weight on a five inch quad increases that prop disc loading or the wing loading on the propellers a lot more than adding the same amount of weight to a six inch quad. So, you know, six inch is very advantageous if you wanna carry anything so I really think that if you want to carry a camera at all, six inch, you'll really enjoy it just because it feels like it's not trying very much. Whereas five inch maybe is just better suited to racing in my opinion, but plenty of people have pretty light, you know, frame on their five inch and run really light electronics and stuff. And they can get pretty good performance even carrying, you know, a session, but carrying the GoPro Hero 6, you're definitely going to feel it more on a five inch than you would on a six inch quad because you know no matter how much power you throw at it or whatever you can't ignore the fact that the props are smaller and the props are what are interacting with the air and that's what makes the lift so bigger props more better so i think that is all i have to say about five inch versus six inch so as you can see, there are a lot of differences as far as they feel, and I personally like how six inch feels in comparison to five inch, but you know, you're entitled to your own opinion, but I will say that despite all of my explaining and whatnot, the only way to really see for yourself what you like better is to go out and fly a five inch and six inch quad and see how you like them. So I recommend that you build a five inch and a six inch and you really see what you like better and you may be surprised. So with that said, please let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comments below and let me know if you like five inch or six inch better if you have tried flying both. And please like this video if you liked it, get subscribed to see more content like this in the future and thanks for watching.